Hey everybody, my name is Ben from Learn Create Build Academy, and welcome back to our weekly Construct 2 series, where each week we will test out a game from the Construct 2 arcade, and I will try to set the highest score possible and challenge you all to beat it if you can. Now, this week's game of choice is Biogun, and this game is incredible, like nothing we've ever showcased here on the channel before, uh, but we'll get right into it so you guys can see how it works. So, if we look at the controls, uh, you can tell there's quite a bit going on. We can move with WASD, uh, dodge with shift, um, and then activate pockets, which are these little special things you can buy. We'll get into it in a second. So I'm not sure if this game is a demo or not, but as of right now, there is no story or trials mode available, so we're going to go into some survival. Now, the story of this game is that we are a doctor who is going inside a sick patient, and our goal is to kill as much bacteria as possible um, in an endless horde-style survival game. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Alright, so it should be noted, however, there's going to be no game audio in this game, which is a real bummer, because they've included some awesome soundtracks and sound effects. Uh, however, one of them happens to be copyrighted, and because I want the video to stay up, I can't include the audio. So definitely when you play it for yourself, make sure you play with some headphones because it is worth it. I think we'll go ahead and start off in the stomach region. Why not? All right, so when you spawn in, there's bacteria all over the place. But as you can see, it is wave one and it's really intense. You just kind of have to go around and survive. Uh, it gets harder as the waves progress, as most horde style games do. Um, and that's basically all there is to it. There's health around the map. We've got a gun. Look at these little amoeba enemies. They're so cool. But I just love this game because, like, look at these graphics. How smooth the AI works. Oh, gosh. We've got some bubble enemies coming in. Whew. All right, these ones are hard because they travel in packs. Oh, gosh. No. All right, get some health. Dodge. So you can double jump, by the way. Oh, it's already getting in crazy. Okay. Whew. More health. Yes. Alright, wave three. So, like I said, the object is just to go around the level and try to survive. The longer the waves go on, the uh, more enemies, like different types of enemies, will start to spawn in. So it gets harder and harder. Also, if you guys just saw me pick up that little uh, purple orb that you can see floating above the uh, wave counter, those are used in the shop. So after, I believe it is wave 10, you get the opportunity to go into a shop and buy power-ups and upgrades. So you want to collect those as much as you can. They can be picked up pretty easily. You can just use the reticle of your gun and they'll fly to you. Ugh, dodge, dodge! Remember to use shift. It's very important. Oh, pick it up. Nice. So right now we have eight of those purple orbs. Nine! And uh, you want to get as many as possible because the upgrades are actually really cool in this game. But I mean, just look at this. It's crazy. It's like a full-on like game. This was all made in Construct 2. Another feature I really like about it is it's got level wrap. So if you go all the way to the edge of the screen, it'll actually teleport you to the other side. Which is nice when you have to escape from giant crowds of bacteria that are trying to kill you. I just, the animations, everything about this game is just so cool. I'm sure that once you guys see this video, you'll agree. But this is definitely one of the most, like production value rated games that we've played on the series so far. Whoa! Alright, so we're starting to get these bacteria cluster things. That's how you know the game's getting intense. They even went so far as to uh, include when some certain bacteria hit you, they have effects on your character. Like your screen will get hazy, your control scheme gets reversed, it's really cool. But it does make it very challenging, and uh, there's a lot going on on the screen right now. Oh gosh, oh this is bad, we're dead, we're dead! No. <laughs> All right, so that was our first go at it. And uh, 422 kills. Not bad. I think um, what we'll do is we'll go off of score for the high score of these videos. But we're definitely going to give that another try. All right, so I don't know if there's any associated difficulty with these different regions. But I'm going to try this mustache region right here. So the stomach proved to be pretty difficult. But I want to give you guys a showcase of some of the different levels and what they look like as well. All right, got to pick up that orb. And the music is just so good in this game. I'm so bummed out that I can't include it. Oh, orb. Bubbles floating in at us. Whoa! We've got spiky ones already? Uh, run away! So as you can see, this pill bottle is our bio shop. That's where we can buy upgrades. Um, that'll help us out in future waves. But I don't remember when it unlocks. Ooh! Ooh! Get those orbs. Oh gosh, this is like wave three and it's already crazy. Oh gosh, that's not good. You never want to find yourself in the middle of when the group of bacteria are spawning. Also, you guys might want to notice um, when you, you see that little bar underneath the health, I believe that fills up with the more orbs you pick up as well. And you can get into some like super mode when it's all the way full. So 
Really, the name of the game is just survive as long as possible. Our health isn't looking the greatest, I'm not gonna lie, so we should be on the lookout for some health. We're on wave six already, though. Oh, gosh! Alright, carefully. Just keep firing. What's really nice is you can just hold down the mouse and just continuously fire. Which makes it good for situations like this. I mean, look how many enemies there are. This is crazy. Ah! Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, no. Wave seven. Here we go. Ah, no! We've got the germ clusters coming back for us. Whew. I think they can shoot bullets at us, too. Ah, yep, th those are definitely bullets. One of the reasons this game is so difficult is because these enemies can just pass through these solid walls like it's nothing. Oh, there was health up there. Alright. Oh, no. We gotta get some health or else we're gonna be in a really bad situation. Oh, no. Yep. 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 Mm-hmm. That's not good. That's looking- that's looking really bad for us. We're in a stink cloud. Oh, the cloud made us slow down. <laughs> so, we did somewhat better in that region. I think we'll give it one more try. Um, we'll try out the next level. Alright, so the last level is like this goatee looking level. <laughs> so we'll try this one out and then we'll just take whatever the highest score was from the video and we'll post that. Oh my gosh, there's so many orbs in this level. I'm all about that. Okay. Alright, so that's gonna be really good once we get to the shop. Oh, that's bad. See, something slowed us down right there. That was not good. That's okay, though. We didn't lose too much health. And we haven't used the health pack yet, though, so they're all over the place. But yeah, so I just... There's something about this game that just really... I don't know. I've always loved these Horde-style survival games. And it's so cool. I love the story to it, too. How you're just, like, surviving in someone's body, trying to exterminate these germs. It's really creative. Hold them off. Hold them off. Whew. Okay, we're on the next wave. So let me know in the comments down below when you guys try out this game, if there's anything you guys think I missed as far as coverage, if there's any features that, oh, that I didn't happen to get to, then definitely let me know what you guys think about the game. And also be thinking about how you guys could create a game like this in Construct 2. I know it might seem crazy, but believe it or not, this is something that you guys could learn. All right, things are starting to get crazy now. Hey, look, our bar filled all the way up. So we have like this super mode now. I think it provides us with like a little shield. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, we're doing more damage or at least shooting faster. We're really doing it now. Things are getting really crazy. So we'll wrap around the level, give us a little break. Hey, the bio shop's open. Nice. All right, so this was the shop that I was talking about. I really wanted to make sure that I'd show this feature to you guys. So if we head inside, we have this little space otter, and he sells us these awesome items. So, uh, in a bind, surrounded by swarms of bacteria, toss one of these at him and watch him slow down. So it's like a slow grenade. Uh, health regen is really good. I used that in the last game. Um, you could make a clone of yourself. Uh, yeah, this is like atomic power, which is why it costs so much. There's a big cannon, which we can almost afford. But I think I'm going to go with the tri-gun upgrade. And, uh, work with that for now. Now, we do have 23 left, so I'm also going to get the health regen. So, this should hopefully help us out. Gotta remember that we have the tri-gun if we need it. And our health's going to be regenerating, so that's helpful. This, I mean, in all honesty, this game just really has everything you could ever want. It's action-packed, it's randomly generated, so it's never going to be the same. It keeps track of your progress, and there's even a store involved. Like, what more could you want? They're releasing those clouds. Oh, also, okay, so this is good to note. Apparently, the items that you buy are one-time use. I didn't know that, so we no longer have health regeneration. That's okay, though, because a lot of the health packs are starting to regenerate within the level, so... Alright, things are getting a little scary over there. So, naturally, we'll just run away. I'm doing it! Triple shot! Ah! Oh my gosh, look at all the money! Triple shot! Woo! Alright, I definitely am a fan of the triple shot. Things are getting crazy. Oh my gosh. I don't want this triple shot to ever run out. Sadly, I know it's going to in a matter of seconds. We really need help. Oh, there it is. Ugh. Uh, there it is. Nice. Okay. Sweet. Alright, so unfortunately our triple shot's gone, but you know what? It did a good service to us while it was here. A hundred thousand! Oh my goodness! The score is getting insane. Okay, nope. Just every little bit of damage is important. Boss encounter? I didn't even know there were bosses in this game! Oh no. As you can tell, this is definitely the farthest I've ever been. I should have saved the triple shot for the boss encounter. Whoa! 
Ah, what is that thing? I'm guessing that's the boss. We have to stay uh, pretty far away from that. Dodge the bullet. Oh, I totally jumped right into it. Where's its weak point? I'm jumping at it, but I don't know if I'm actually doing anything. Okay, we wrapped around. All right, we're going to charge it. Okay, it's getting low. It's getting low health. We can do this. No! Please! Don't kill me! Ah! Oh, our health, guys. Oh, there's health up there. Yes. No! We were so close to the health. Oh, so the boss got us. Oh, I've never been more disappointed and sad than this moment right here. All right, well, you guys see the high score. It's nice that there's a stats page we can check. Um, 116,000 is the issued challenge. Now, it should be noted, we were on the goatee level. So if you guys want to beat it on that level, that probably makes the most sense. Um, but try all the levels. Have fun with this game. I think it's definitely one of the coolest ones we've tried out in the series so far. Um, and definitely let me know in the comments below what you guys' score is and what you guys think about this game. As always, we certainly appreciate you guys checking out these videos. If you did enjoy it, leave a like and subscribe to learn create build here on YouTube but definitely check out lcblive.com too this is where we offer our 2d game design classes in construct 2 and you guys could learn to make your very own game just like this one all right we'll see you guys in the next video bye thank you all so much for watching the video if you did enjoy it please don't forget to leave a like and leave us a comment down below want to see more click on the video in the top right to go to our previous upload or click the channel icon to subscribe thanks